Todd, it's, it's great to be here at Hawkeye, and I want to jump off where he said thank you, to, especially to our Hawkeye colleagues. This is a partnership, but that partnership is built on relationships that we build between our faculty and our staff, and especially our, our transfer and admissions staff. They're critical to making this partnership work, but our faculty are as well, our staff are as well, building those tight relationships so that we know how programs articulate, so that students know that if they take classes here, they're going to count when they come to you and I. The work that both of our institutions have done in the last few years around general education, you and I's creation of the Unify program, so that any student that has an AA degree in particular, and even many with AS degree, AAS degrees, will be able to come to the University of Northern Iowa and know that they've got their general education credits already taken. That's a big step. The work that Hawkeye is doing on their general education curriculum right now is also a very positive step in helping those students, the Hawkeye students, transfer not just to you and I, but to other institutions that serve their career needs and their educational needs. So it's a pleasure to work with teams that are as committed to helping students. And that's where it all comes from. It is a commitment by the faculty and staff at both of our institutions, and you see it every day in this community. It's a commitment to the success of our students, helping them meet their educational goals, their professional goals, and their personal life goals, the things they do away from work, the things they do away from education that are so essential to making this partnership work and each of our institutions as successful as they are. President Holcomb mentioned how important this relationship is. The University of Northern Iowa, about a third of our students come to UNI through transfer. A third of our students come through transfer. That's a large number and extremely important population for us. Of those students that come to us from transfer, about 25% of them, one in four, come from Hawkeye. That's an amazing statistic. It's by far our biggest, what we call feeder school, transfer institution. The partnership is essential to the operation of the University of Northern Iowa. That's why it's so easy to be here today. I love the fact that we have a backhoe sitting behind me. <laughs> I think it's appropriate because backhoes are about change. Backhoes are about progress. Backhoes are about new programs, new buildings, and moving into the future. And that's what we're talking about. We're talking about continuing to build, to renovate a building, to renovate a partnership, to make sure it stays strong, that it stays healthy, that it continues to serve the needs of these students the way it's been serving and to improve and to change as our students change, as the economy change, as the landscape around higher education changes. It's important that we stay in contact. It's easy for Todd and I to meet occasionally and talk about presidential things. The real work happens when our faculty talk to other faculty members, when our deans are in contact with other deans, when our staff are talking to each other, especially about transfer issues. And what are the hangups that students are facing here at Hawkeye when they want to go to UNI and what they face at UNI when they've come from Hawkeye? It's building and maintaining those relationships, renovating those relationships. I hope they don't take a backhoe, but they might at some point. <laughs> it's important that we keep our relationships strong, that we continue to build them students and our community and our institutions. So thank you for the opportunity to be here to talk about National Transfer Day, but import, more importantly, to talk about the relationship our two institutions have built, because it's important not only to our institutions and to our faculty and staff, but more importantly, for the health and welfare of this community and the greater Cedar Valley and the state of Iowa. So thank you very much for coming out and supporting both of our institutions.